And good morning, and I must open with saying welcome to Fulton County. That is the place where you are. Um, we are the largest county in the state of Georgia, and it's just wonderful to see so many of you here this morning. I'm representing the small business industry. I have spoken with several of you already this morning waiting for us to get started. But, I mean, there are some really interesting businesses here this morning, things that I would have never thought about doing or starting up, and it just shows how really creative thinking that we are as a group and individually coming up with these creative ideas and finding a niche to really grab on to, have passion about, and pursue doing it. And that's what really entrepreneurship is about, something that you have a passion for that regardless of what the circumstance is, you're going to keep on pursuing to do the vision, the dream, and see it come to fruition. What I want to do, I have two hats really, it's two sides of me. I'm an entrepreneur myself, but this morning I am representing um, the county and Mr. Ken Dawson because he could not attend this morning. He is out of town this weekend, so I was given specific instructions um, about what I was to say this morning in the message to you and that when he finished with his instructions I said to him, I said, but you must remember I'm an entrepreneur also and they're going to be more interested in hearing about what I do as an entrepreneur than hearing what the county does as far as their services. But, <laughs> and he said, that's probably true. I know you're going to do your little pitch, but um, let me just go over some of the things about the county and economic development. Um, we are reinventing and recreating ourselves within that um, period now that we are doing that for about the past five or six years. We were kind of dormant as the county um, new administration came into play. They did a lot of reorganization and restructuring. And as a result of that, um, the Economic Development Division was created at the end of last year. We have a new director. His name is... Kenneth Dyson, and I am part of his staff as a senior business development person, and it was he and I for a minute. Um, so I consider us a small business. We have very little money, so what you do is you make the best with what you have. So instead of doing the job of one thing, I'm doing the job of many things. Then we were fortunate that we were able to hire another person full time. And during the interview process, I share with them the real world of what it's gonna be like working with just two of us and you becoming the third person and how we must switch hats. You have one plan in the morning that you start off with and that changes to something else in about 15 minutes after you walk through the door. And similar experiences are with you having a small business operation too, because you never know what the next day holds, you never know what the next hour holds. I mean, even if you're home-based operating, you have all kind of different issues that you have to deal with that are unexpected. Life is just unexpected all the time. So, and let me go on with my presentation. Um, they just told me about um, Mr. Dawson has been working on developing an operational plan for us, which will be the basis for how we will function, sort of like the Bible, how we're going to move forward with developing um, economic development activities and programs for the county as a whole. One of the, our theme that he has created for us is One Fulton County for All and All for One Fulton County. And in doing that, because we are a limited small staff with limited budget, what we are doing is creating partnerships with people in various industry sectors that are going to assist us in an advisory capacity to really create the kind of programs and services that the county needs to be providing to the overall business community. So in creating those partnerships, we are working with the municipalities, and you know the county has plenty of those. Um, we have several chambers of commerce that we're working with, as well as we're working with Gary, and he mentioned that we met, I guess, maybe two years ago, and um, he is really just a great person to work with, and he offers so much wisdom and talent that comes with him. Um, but, and I don't want to belabor that, but we do have programs that 
we have put in place. And interesting enough, you know the business plan that everybody works at putting together that some people don't know about until they come into my office and say, I have an idea and I want to do this. And I'm saying, okay, so do you have a business plan? Have you really thought all of this out? And I start drilling them with all these questions that they were like, oh. So what I did, because this kept reoccurring, I developed a business plan outline, which is different from the typical business plan that you normally pull up and find online or in the bookstores. Because when I started realizing that people truly did not understand how to interpret what it was they needed to do to respond to the question. So I put it in simple language, simple terms, and started putting some thought process to how do you respond to these questions that if you're going to a bank or anyone that you want to kind of get invest in your, um, your business venture, the things that they're going to be asking for, the things that they're going to be looking for you to respond to with questions. So I put that piece together and I give it to them and I said, look, this is just my little creation. You take it and put some thought to it and answer some of these questions. When it's complete, you come back and then we can work. And they said, well, I'm going to hire somebody. And I said, nope, before you hire somebody, pay them some money and they don't necessarily have the end product that you need. They're going to start asking you a whole lot of questions, the same questions that I'm telling you to respond to in this packet that I put together, the same, these are things that you need to start thinking about so that if you do hire somebody to put the plan together, you will always already have jump start and then have some meat to work with to really put together for you a real serious plan. Well, I say all this because we, as an economic development department, starting next week, we are going to have to put together a business plan. The county manager has given us a directive that we need to put together a business plan on how we're going to function. So it is applying to us at the government level as well as it's something that businesses have already been doing for years. Some of the programs that we're going to be focusing on include business retention and expansion, business recruitment and attraction, business creation and development, uh, financial resources and development incentives, financing tools, techniques and strategies, commercial and industrial real estate development. Um, those are some of the programs that we are looking at shaping through some of these advisory groups that have been set up. Um, our goals are to be proactive, friendly investment with an investment environment, to increase the revenue sharing, and of course the tax base expansion and global positioning of the county. Recently, and about two weeks ago, we had a trade mission that came to us from Botswana, Africa. They brought 127 businesses to visit with us. And let me tell you, I was so impressed with them because they're the first trade mission, and we've had several that have come through over the years that I've been with the county, but this is the first trade mission. They came with their accountant, they came with their attorney, they came with their real, I mean, they had every entity of any kind of business issue with them that could be resolved. They, their goal was to walk away with some deals being made. And let me tell you, by the, the day before their last day of their visit here, they had made deals.